Welcome to the MetaWare Debugger Training. This is MDB Session 7, where we'll show how to examine and change core and auxiliary registers on your target, and also how to examine memory. In this session, we'll show you how to use the Registers and Auxiliary Registers windows to view and modify ARC registers. We'll also show how to use the Memory window to access target memory. After launching a debug session, you can open the Registers window from the display menu as follows. This window is used to see the core registers on the ARC, as well as some commonly used auxiliary registers, and also any extension registers present in your build. In the display, you'll see each register's name, as well as its current value. You can use the Registers per line drop-down to choose how many columns are displayed in the window in order to optimize the display for your window layout. The Format drop-down allows you to change the number format used to display each register to something other than the default hexadecimal format. For example, you can choose signed or unsigned decimal, binary, floating point format, as well as fractional representations. As you step through the code, or halt an executing program, the change parts of each register are highlighted in red so that you can easily see what's changed. In order to modify a register value, select it and then press the Change button, or simply double-click on the register value in order to open the Change dialog. Enter a new value and press OK can see that the register is updated. Let's now move on to the Auxiliary Registers window. This can be accessed from the display menu as follows. The Auxiliary Register space on the ARC is a 4 gig space of 32-bit registers. Some of the registers are used as configuration and control registers by the ARC, but most are available for user extensions. If you set the registers per line drop down to 1 from its default value of 4, the debugger will display the symbolic names of the registers that it knows next to the register number. This can make it easier to find a specific register as you scroll through the address space. You can also enter the numerical value of a register in the Go To field, and then press Enter to jump directly there. You can change the value of the register by selecting a line and pressing the Change button, or you can simply double-click on the value to bring up the Change dialog. As with the Core Registers window, enter a new value and press OK. You can see that the parts of the register that are changed are highlighted in red. Note that some of the auxiliary registers can be updated by external events. Although the debugger will automatically update the registers after stopping or stepping, you can also force it to update the registers at any time using the Refresh button. The Memory window is used to access the target's memory. It can be opened from the Display menu as follows. The memory window shows the memory address, the memory content, and an ASCII translation. You can configure the width of the display by using the bytes per line dropdown. You can also select the number of bytes in each column using the size dropdown. This is useful when the data you're examining in memory is represented in some format 
other than the default 32-bit word. You can also use this dropdown to display the data as floating or fixed point. The base dropdown allows you to format the memory in binary or decimal views instead of the standard hexadecimal. To navigate to different memory regions, you can either scroll or you can enter an exact address into the go to field and press enter. Note that you can also enter variable names and other expressions in this field in order to go right to the memory addresses representing the results of that expression. For example, we can enter A and press enter in order to display the memory in the variable A. In this application, the global variable A happens to be located at this address. We can cross-check this against what we see in the variables window by pressing the address button, and you can see that A is indeed located at this address. Memory can be changed in the same manner as registers, either by double-clicking or by using the Change button. Press OK to set the value, and you can see that it's changed. The change is also reflected in the Variables window as well. Memory can easily be refreshed in between debugger runs using the Refresh button. This would be useful in case some external agent is modifying it while the arc is halted. Any memory that gets modified during the run will be shown in red every time the debugger halts. Note that with the memory window, as with any debugger window, it's possible to open multiple instances of the window. So now you can see that we have two memory windows, and they can each show distinct addresses and be formatted in completely different ways. This is useful when you want to examine more than one region of memory at the same time and see the results side by side. The debugger techniques discussed in this presentation are covered in detail in the DesignWare Metaware Debugger User's Guide for ARC supplied with the Metaware toolset. In particular, please see Section 3.13, Viewing and Modifying Registers and Flags, and Section 3.8, Debugging Memory.